Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip on using the retestulate option uh, within Keyshot. So there are two reasons why you might retestulate your model. It might be that the model you've brought in has come in with kind of faceted or jagged surface and edges uh, and you need to smooth those out. So to do this, one option would be to increase the tessellation quality. So rather than re-importing that model, you can use the retestulate option uh, to specify a higher quality value which in turn will allow the software to create that surface using smaller triangles. Another reason why you might use the retestulate option is to reduce the number of triangles that are within the model itself. And you'll do this if you then wanted to use this model in a virtual or an augmented reality as the fewer triangles and therefore the smaller the file size, the quicker the download and upload speed you have in these environments. So for example, if I click on this front panel and front insert option, and I'm on the properties section under the scene tab, I can see that within this model, there are just over 200,000 triangles. Okay. Now with the heads up display open, I can see at the top one for this entire model itself, there are just over 400,000. So therefore I can see that this particular part of the model takes up just over half the number of triangles you used to build it. Now, I may want to reduce this, and I can also see that it is inside the model, so I may not see it as kind of higher quality as the rest of it. So, to start the retestulate tool off, under the Tools drop down, I can click on the retestulate button. If you cannot see this Tools drop down, simply right click on that ribbon in the top and tick next to Tools to make it visible. So, here I can click on the retestulate, and because I have that part selected, it will start to kind of calculate where all the triangles are and then it'll open up in the screen. Now, the retest layer option does use the NURBS data that is within the model itself. So what are NURBS? NURBS stands for Non-Uniform Rational B-Splines and they're mathematical representations of 2D and 3D objects. And these can be standard shapes or freeform shapes. They are commonly used in CAD and they allow the designer to create an absolutely smooth curve. Once it's finished its calculations, this window will then pop up uh, and within here, you've got kind of different values that you can change. Please note that this tessellation quality of 0.1 is not the tessellation quality that the model came in as. It is just a default value that you can now reset to. So leaving it as default, I'm just going to click on the tessellate button and here it will calculate how many uh, triangles it can apply to those faces. Once complete, it will then show you that preview and in the top left, how many triangles is now used to kind of build up that surface. So I can see here, we've gone down from it being the just over 200,000 triangles to around about 70,000. Now you could keep reducing tessellation quality or you could increase it if you find some detailing is starting to disappear. But if you are happy with your kind of choices, uh, you can then click apply. It will then apply it to the model in the real time window and you can then hit done to close that window down. Yep, so as you can see, the new triangle value has been applied to that part. And in my heads up display, the overall triangle count has now also reduced. Thank you very much for listening.